In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel in order to look up information in a data set. VLOOKUP is a powerful tool that can be used to find information quickly. It allows you to input information and returns to you any associated information. For example, I could create a VLOOKUP that let me input a part number. So I could type in ATC10, this part number, and it would return to me automatically any of the information in this row that I requested. It could be the description, the quantity on hand, the year to date, the last cost, or the sale price. VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup, and so it will look up in a column and then return information in the row. For this example, I also have a discount table over here that says that if we sell a quantity of 0 to 99, the customer gets no discount at all. However, if they buy a quantity of 100 to 199, they get a 5% discount. 200 to 499 would give them a 7% discount. And any quantity over 500 would return a 10% discount. So let's create a VLOOKUP that lets us return information quickly when we type in any part number and quantity. So first, let's make cells where we can type the part number and quantity. And then we'll make cells that will return to us the information that we want quantity on hand, cost, sale price, discount, percent. We'll calculate the actual discount and the final sale price. Maybe we can add a sale for profit or profit margin as well at the bottom here. So now that this is set up, let's use a VLOOKUP function to return the description that we're looking for. And we'll do that to all of these cells down here. So to find the VLOOKUP function, we hit the equal button and begin typing VLOOKUP. And we'll see that it automatically will find it, so we'll select that function. And when we use VLOOKUP, it needs four criteria in order to do this. The first criterion is the actual value or cell that we're going to be looking up. In this case, we're going to be looking up the part number that we enter into this cell right here, so I'll select that cell i9 comma and then I need to select a range and this range is going to include all of our data but it has to have the part number that we're inputting in the very left column of the data we're selecting so I'll select all of that data I hit control shift and the down arrow to select everything turn to the top again comma so now I've selected all of the data that I'll be looking up now I've got to enter a number, and this number is going to be a column number. So of the, of the columns I've selected, this will be column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I want it to return to me the data in column 2. So I enter a 2 there. And now I have a choice to enter either a true or false. If I enter false, it will return values that are an exact match to the part numbers that I type. If I enter true, it approximates the match. In this case, I want an exact match to the part number, so I'll type false. And once I do that, it returns an error because I don't have a part number in this box to look up. So if I enter a part number, which is ATC15, it should return the description of that part. Now I need to repeat this process for the following cells here, for quantity on hand. I'll use a VLOOKUP again. I'm going to be looking up this part number cell. I want the same data set that I used last time. This time it'll be column 3 that I want to have returned to me. And again I'll enter FALSE because I want an exact match. So you can see that it returned me the quantity on hand for this part, which was 9. We'll go ahead and do this for these other cells. Okay, now that I get to the discount percent, I'm going to use this discount table as my lookup. And it's going to be based on the quantity. So I'll enter a VLOOKUP here. This function will be just a little bit different than the ones we've done in the previous cells. So I want to look up the quantity that I'll enter into this cell. I'm going to use this data right here. 
I want it to return to me a percentage, so I'm going to use column 2 out of this data that I've selected. Now, I'm not always going to buy in quantities of exactly 0, 100, 200, or 500. I may buy 105, for example, or 215. So, I'm going to enter true so that it will approximate. So what it will do is it will take our quantity that we've entered and it will check this column to find out which value in this column our number is above while not exceeding the next value in sequence. For example, if I enter 150 here, it's going to come over and identify with 100 because it's above 100 but below 200. So now if I want to figure out the actual discount price, I need to do a little bit of math and multiply the sale price by the discount price. That returns our actual discount, and that's in dollars. And to get the final sale price, I need to, of course, subtract the discount from the sale price. It gives me $2.57. I could then calculate the profit. So on this particular item, I make $1.22. However, we've got to remember that I'm selling 150 of these items. So I need to make sure and multiply that $1.22 by the quantity sold. So we end up with a profit of $182.25 on that sale. We can now come back here and type in another number. I hope that you can see that by using this VLOOKUP function, we've created a very useful tool that could be applied to many situations and many different data sets. It would help you quickly pull the information that you want out of that data set and make it useful.